The arrow diagram on the right shows the relationship between set M and set N. So this is set M, this is set N. State the image of 2. So we know the image of 2, that means 2 is the object. So object 2, what is the image? So we can see that this is object. So this is object, image is here. So when the object is 2, the image is 1. So here the object of 4. So means 4 is the image. So it wanted to find which object, uh, which is the object of 4. So we see here 4 is the image. So we can see that 3. So see here 6 maps into 4, 8 into 4 and 9 is also into 4. So the object of 4 is we have 6, 8 and 9. So B, does this relation represent a function and give your reason? So, to be considered, to be considered a function, it must has object, must only have one image. So, it doesn't matter if the image got many objects as long as this is the main rule, the object has one image. So, you see here 2 maps into 1, 6 into 4, 7 into 1, 8 into 4, 9 into 4. So, we see here, even though uh, even though we can see that the, ob the image got few objects, but all the objects get only one image. So, this is a function. So, C, state the domain, co-domain and range. So, here C, so domain is everything in front here. This is domain. So, domain, domain is equal to, so you have to open the curly bracket. So, everything here is 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, co-domain is everything at the back here. This is Everything here is co-domain. So, co-domain is equal to, this one is 1, 4 and 5. So, range. So, range is also at the back. What, but what is the difference between co-domain and range? Range is the image, is the co-domain which have object. So you see here only 1 and 4 got object but 5 is not mapped to anything. So the range is only 1 and 4.